what a world, what a me. I am Dre Watts. This is Dre Watts Topics. Good evening to you, YouTube. <clears throat> okay, this is a topic which is so true. And you should look at it. You know, look at it very well because I know you hear it um, all the time from women, especially black women, say that they are strong black women. Now, this topic is so true if you look at it. You know, just look at it. You know, topic is, you say you are a strong woman, but what is the sense for you as a strong woman to pursue something? You know, that is child support. Okay, um, I know black women say this, you know, I haven't heard this from my own ears from white women, Native Americans, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Samoan, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Egyptian, or whatever type of woman that walks this earth. But I hear this amongst uh, black women that says this. They say, I'm a strong black woman and things like that. I'm a superwoman, things like that. Okay. But you say that you are a strong black woman, you know, you're strong, you know what I'm saying, I ain't knocking that, I ain't knocking that, you know, I'm not knocking that at all, you know, but what is the purpose and what is that you want to pursue something that is child support and you say you are a strong black woman, you know, now, to me, I look at it like this. You can say that all day long. You can say that all day long from sun up to sun down. You know, for real. And you're dealing with a man. You know what I'm saying? Black man or white man or whatever type of man, black woman that you're dealing with. You know, you had a relationship like uh, probably a long time, like five years, two years, a year, uh, six months, or whatever. You know? and you wound up getting pregnant by him, you know? But what is the uh, reason to pursue something and you say, I am a strong black woman? You know? Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. For example, if a man that you former uh, deal with, you know, he became your ex, you know? And you came to him and you told him, um, I'm pregnant and things like that, you know, and the relationship is going downhill already, you know, and the man say something like this, because some men do say this. <clears throat> he say to you as a woman, black woman, he say this to you. Well, I don't want to deal with you or that baby, you know. So hell with you and hell with that baby, you know? So to me, when you saying I am a strong black woman and that man tell you hell with you and hell with that baby, what is the purpose of you going to pursue something? You know, when you going to pursue something for as child support, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it though. You can pursue it all day long. Go right ahead. I'm not knocking it. But if a man, the baby father, say, I, hell with you and hell with that baby, you know what I'm saying? What's the, what's the sense of pursuit? You know? You're strong. You know what I'm saying? You're a strong black woman. So you should say, hell with you, father. I'm going to take on this load by myself. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to school. You know? Hell with you. You know? So how are you demonstrate, demonstrating strength? When you pursuing child support with the father, some man don't want nothing to do with you and don't want nothing to do with that child. You know? That's not demonstrating characteristics of strength. You know what I'm saying? When you pursue something after the man said, hell with you and hell with that baby, hell with them children, I'm out of here. I don't want nothing to do with that. You know? And you still pursue something like child support after the man told you straight up in your face, Hell with you and hell with that baby. Hell with them children. You know? Come on. I know a lot of women, black women, heard this. 
you know, and they still pursue something. In some, some cases, the man was still say to the judge. He was saying like this, well, judge, I just want to pay my child support, that's it. That's it, judge, just give me the, um, the monthly balance that I pay month to month till this child get older. You know, I don't, want to deal no, I, don't have, I don't want to deal nothing with her. I just want to pay my child support, that's it. And he would say something like, the judge would say something like, well, do you want to spend time with your children? Or child, he would just say, I just want to pay my child support. Interpret that, he said, I don't want I just want to pay my child support and don't have nothing to do with that mother or that child. That's it. Make them monthly payments. That's it. Next case. You know? Come on. You know? But he do have to uh prove and that he's uh making payments. On time, because the woman could sometimes say she uh, he's not making payments or she didn't get the check in the mail or direct deposit or uh, something. And he got to show receipts that he bought something for that child or whatever, you know. Or they look in that data that database and say, well, he's making payments on time. What are you talking about, mother? What are you talking about, you know? So, like I'm saying, if the man says, the father says. One of the fathers you're dealing with, you know, nowadays, in today's time, these women is not having children by the same man. No, they're not. You know, not all the time. You know, it's rare now that you see a woman, a black woman, having children by one man. She can have two kids by one man. She can have three kids by one man. She can have five kids by one man. Not, not, um, not these days of times, no. If you see a black woman that got a bunch of kids, they buy different, different, different fathers, different, different, different men in today's world. You can't argue, argue me about that. You know what I'm saying? You can't argue me and say, Dre, you're wrong. I see more and more women with, have all these kids by one man. You, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? You crazy. You know? You sound stupid. Today's time, women is not having children and... Um, by one man, you know, they have having children by that man, that man, that man, that man from over there on the west side, that man over there from the east side, that man on the west side, that man on the north side, that man from Cleveland, that man from Akron, that man from Columbus, that man from Cincinnati, all these men, you know? Yeah, but what I'm saying, you say as a black woman, I'm a strong black woman, I'm a super woman, you know? So I put like this. What is the sense for you as a strong black woman for you to go out and pursue something? What is the sense for that? And in the name of strong black woman that you say, what is the uh, so-called purpose for that if you say you are a black strong woman? What is the sense for you to pursue that? Come on, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. You can email me that. You know what I'm saying? Email, email that. Email me that. Uh, excuse me. Email me that on my email address, drewise06 at gmail.com, or Facebook me, or Twitter me at the real Dre Wiles. Come on. I'll wait. Explain that to me. Because I do hear from sometimes for certain women, we have a conversation, and she has children and things like that. We talk. You know, we talk. And she say, well, I don't, my kid's father, my child's father, he ain't in the picture, and he don't want nothing to do with my child or me, so I take on a load by myself. And I categorize that in my mind that she's a strong woman. You know what I'm saying? She told me she's, uh, she never, she didn't tell me our business, but, you know, but she said she take on a load on her own. Well, I hear all the time when these women that come to me, we have a, t a conversation about something, you know. They say, well, my child's father, he don't want nothing to do with these children at all. I I'm trying to pursue child support. And things like that. You know. And I asked, well, at did the man say he didn't want nothing to do with your child or you? Some cases they say yeah, some cases they say no, you know. And sometimes, nine times out of ten, these baby mothers got dope boy baby baby fathers. You know? Yeah. But my thing is, like I'm saying, 
You say you are a strong woman, superwoman. But while you pursue something, and that you say in the name of strong woman, why did you pursue something as far as child support? Because my question is, if the man tell you, if the man tells you straight in your face, in your face, he tell you, I don't want nothing to do with you or that child or them children. Be gone. Away from my sight. You're not welcome in my presence, all that. Tell me that, you know. Tell me. Come on. I mean, I ain't bashing it. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it when you say, uh, I'm a strong black woman, I'm a superwoman. I'm not knocking that at all. I respect that. But you got to think about what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You know, I understand it's his, it's his responsibility. I understand it. But some men that you deal with don't want that responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Don't want it. It's hooked up with you just that you could just be a woman. You know what I'm saying? Or it's hooked up with you just for sex. That's it. You know, that is it. <clears throat> Damn neighbors. <clears throat> but I look at it like this. Some men do not want children at all. Some women do not want children at all. You know what I'm saying? And you women need to understand. You need to understand, especially black women. You cannot force a man, a father, to do something for your children. You cannot do it. If you try to force that man to do something, you will, you will, you will be waiting for a whole eternity. You know what I'm saying? You cannot force a father to do something for your children unless he wants to do something. You know what I'm saying? You cannot force anybody to do something if they don't want to do it against their will. You cannot do it. You know what I'm saying? For real. So you can quit all that bitterness. You know what I'm saying? Quit all that running your mouth. Talking negative about some father not doing right for your children. To some friend that wants to hear all that. You know what I'm saying? That negativity you talk about this man. You know? In all honesty, if your friend was a true friend. She would say, switch the conversation. Switch the, uh, the topic. Because I don't want to talk about your baby father problems. Come on. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. You know, if I were a true friend, if I was a woman, and my friend having baby daddy problems, whatever, and she come back to me all the time about this man doing this, doing that, not take care of her, uh, the children, whatever, I'm going to say, you know what? <laughs> let's talk about something else. I don't want to talk about your baby father, your baby father problems. No, so let's switch the conversation. You know, if we can't switch the conversation, talk to you some other time. Yeah, because ain't nobody want to hear all that negativity reply that you're saying. Want me to give you a negative reply about this man that sometimes I don't even know about. And I don't even know this man, you know. So, yeah. Come on. Like I said, I respect what you, uh, how you come at it by saying you a strong black woman, superwoman, and things like that. I, could, I understand. I, I respect that. But think about what you are saying, you know, what you are saying. Dre Wise Topics. I am Dre Wise. You can post a comment about what I just said if you like to. You know what I'm saying? If you like. This is real. This is real. You know what I'm saying? This is real. This is not no nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, subscribe. I am Dre Wise. This is Dre Wise Topics. Peace.